When your oh. legs don't work like they used to before oh. He needs some milk oh. Oh. Hi, welcome to Chili's If you want to buy cheap and reliable NBA 2K19 MT, go to DVDJ.com and use code HTB for a 5% discount. Hey, what's up guys? Henry the Blazion here, and as you can tell by the title of the video today and also that intro at the beginning, today we are going to be doing a squad builder with players that have suffered the worst injuries. Now, it's not just players that have suffered the worst injuries, but also players whose careers just haven't been the same due to a certain injury. So as you can see in front of you today, man, I've got a 15-man lineup. I'm going to quickly skim over each of the players' injuries for those of you that might or might not know. Uh, we're going to go over them really quick, and then we'll go ahead and we'll hop into a game with this quick crippled lineup man so starting off at the number one position one of the most popular point guards at the time youngest MVP at the time Derrick Rose man he was on pace to be a really legendary bull man but unfortunately he tore his ACL and after that man things just were not the same for him man like he was literally coming back and then getting re-injured over and over life really tried to push him down but this man still continues to push himself every day so huge credit to him man he dropped his career high on the Timberwolves that has got to be amazing now moving over to the number two position a player who has a very well established career already not really someone whose career was really too affected by injuries but the man still suffered an Achilles injury which I think stopped his career from being even more amazing than it already was Galaxy Opal Kobe Bryant man and he was still a badass he walked onto the court show, shot both his free throws nailed both of them before he got off the court man on an Achilles injury that really takes some balls so huge respect to you for that Kobe Bryant. Now moving over to the three position, this is one of the injuries I do not like to think about or remember and that is Paul George's. Now Paul George, he didn't get injured during the NBA season, it was when they were scrimmaging I think for a Team USA, I'm not sure if it was an official game or a scrimmage, but regardless, Paul George, he landed wrong on a layup and well, his leg snapped. I don't want to show you guys the video, if you guys want to see videos of any of these injuries, look them up yourself, but I will not be showing them in this video at all man. But yeah, Paul George, my second favorite player at the time to watch, man, that injury was honestly so tough on him. And the crazy thing about him is, man, he plays like he was never injured, bro. This dude is still hooping in the league today. I'm so happy for him that he was able to come back and go through rehab perfectly because he's hooping and people don't even realize that this man was ever injured. Like, his leg injury was bad, man. His leg literally snapped Kevin Ware style. So when you see him on the court right now, it's hard to believe that something like that actually happened to him. But I'm glad he's back on the league, man. At the number four position, Amari Stoudemire, he suffered a couple injuries. One of them was pretty funny. He punched a fire extinguisher and then hurt his hand because he broke the glass. I found that kind of comedy. And then he's also injured his knee. And then he had to have some type of crazy knee surgery. I forget what it's actually called, but not many athletes have done it. And he had he realized what the actual surgery was, he said he wouldn't have done it either. But basically, that surgery, in the sense, put an end to his career. After that, Amari kind of just disappeared off the map, man. Ever since he was a Knicks, after that, everything just kind of disappeared and since then no one ever really talks about Amari Stoudemire but uh, yeah he was an exciting player to watch on the Suns and on the Knicks man now at the number five we've got DeMarcus Cousins a player who recently got injured last year when he was on the Pelicans before moving on to the Warriors thinking he was gonna get a free ring but as you guys can see coming back from injury man DeMarcus Cousins just doesn't have that same hop anymore like it's not like he could really jump like that before but now he literally cannot jump that dude is sitting still and people were abusing him him in the finals when it came to Toronto versus the Warriors man pick and roll on DeMarcus it was too easy but I'm glad he's back hopefully he can go back to being one of the most dominant centers in the league because he literally went from being one of the best centers in the league to one of the absolute worst centers in the league in the matter of an injury so you really hate to see stuff like that man now moving over to the bench Grant Hill someone who suffered a rough ankle injury and because of that he never really came back the same kept getting injured had the chance to team up with T-Mac but then kept getting injured over and over Grant Hill was someone who was supposed to be one of the greater players man he was like a hybrid of LeBron and Jordan and is what a lot of people talked about him as I personally never watched him play so I can't really say I know much about him I've just heard a lot of crazy things about him and that he was on pace to have a super phenomenal career until injuries took place and same thing goes for this Brandon Roy man Brandon Roy was a player most of you probably know is just a base 11 card but when he was playing basketball again I didn't really watch him too much so I looked up on him and he was a hooper man like he was really a really good 
player, but unfortunately he was suffering from a degenerative knee and because of that he was forced to retire early. Now Tracy McGrady, another player who had the potential to be one of the all-time all-times. Unfortunately his back just was not going to support him. It was bad enough his supporting cast was constantly getting injured, but when he got injured it was just the end of Tracy McGrady, bro. People kept comparing this man to Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan on the offensive end. He was seriously unstoppable. A 6'8 shooting guard with the scoring ability that he had was absolutely insane, bro. It was on some Kevin Durant stuff, which is going to lead me to the next one being Kevin Durant, who suffered his ruptured Achilles this year in the finals. Super unfortunate. Huge respect to him for putting his body on the line for the Warriors, although I also think he should not have played, not because I was rooting for Toronto, but you just hate to see injuries in any case, man. Whether it's your team or whether it's not, injuries in sports are just not fun to see, man. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not a fan of Kevin Durant now. I still don't like him, but I still really, really respect the guy for what he was willing to do for his team. At the five, we've got Patrick Ewing, a player who tore his ACL, I believe. I could be wrong there. That was what someone told me, so I went ahead and added him on my team without doing any research. So if I'm wrong, I'm sorry, but otherwise, I'm sorry if you injured yourself, Patrick Ewing. Now, quickly moving on to the reserves, guys. I know you guys see Magic Johnson and you're thinking, I don't think Magic really got injured like that. Now, I also found that to be true until I looked it up on the worst injuries of all time. And people really said HIV was an injury for Magic Johnson. And I found this on like four different pages where people counted HIV as an injury. Now, I would count it more as a disease than anything. But again, it was something that stopped Magic from being even greater than he was. And he's the greatest point guard of all time. So the potential he really would have had had he not been you know sticking his thing in too many people would have been really amazing for our boy magic but unfortunately you still had yourself an amazing career and you retired at the right time now moving on to the last two spots we've got steve nash and we got gordon hayward steve nash bro the thing that this man did to his nose bro i don't even really want to explain it if you guys want to go ahead and check it out go on youtube and look up steve nash nose injury it is just gross bro this dude broke his nose and then he popped it back in there himself it was so gross it was bloody it was a mess this dude really had the will to win bro he was not gonna get off the court and sit off that is having balls bro if that was me bro i'd be crying i'd be bro if someone stubs if I stub my toe on a door, I'm already down on the ground. So to break your nose and pop it back in, that really takes some guts. And then Gordon Hayward, he got injured at the first or debuting his Celtics season last year on the first game of the season. Super, super tough. He went down and well, his leg, his ankle area just did not bend right. It did not look right, but I'm glad the man's back. Hopefully he goes back to being the Utah Jazz Gordon Hayward that he was. Regardless though, that injury was gross. And that sums up our 15 man lineup here. Now that you know about all the injuries it's time to hop into a game and see what they can do for us man so without further ado let's go ahead and let's hop into a game and let's see what this ambulance team can do for us man let's hop into it all right and let's see what our matchup is looking like today jeez i mean he's got regular chris paul which is cool but that Giannis and wilt looks scary with mellow and lebron jeez that is something serious all right amari and demarcus you guys have some work to do let's get into it so I think I've played this guy before and this is going to be a sweaty game, but you know what? It's all good. We got Derrick Rose. Let's get this man a nice little bucket first. Snatch back. I got limitless range. What is you doing? Bang! We should be able to clamp up this Chris Paul. That's where the mismatch is. And that's kind of where we got to attack it. Nice steal. Demarcus run like you don't have an injured ACL. All the way putting it down. Good defense there by freaking Amari getting the block. We got to feed this man in transition. Catch that and put it down once again. Where's Paul George? Oh, he's in the corner. Catch and shoot green beam. We've almost scored with every member of our starting lineup already. All right, so far we're off to a pretty good start. The only person that hasn't scored on this lineup is the Mamba himself. Nice little size up. Uh, go behind the back, please. There you go. There we go. Go for the spin. All the way. Draw the foul. Uh, no and one. I guess it's justice that his first buckets are the free throws because that's when he shot the free throws with that injured uh, Achilles, I believe, not ACL. But uh, first free throw here is going to go down. This Kobe Bryant is such a good card. Kobe is always one of my favorite cards to play with in 2K, even though I was never a fan of him, which is kind of funny. Nice rebound there. All right, Kobe, I kind of want to get you one more bucket because your bucket wasn't justified. I see you. Pump fake. Ah, that didn't work out. I see Paul George inside, and that's going to be an easy bucket on that little one.
All right, and let's see what our second matchup is looking like. I don't know if you guys saw that little clip there, but the guy ended up leaving the match, and he had Galaxy Opal, Giannis, and Wilt. So at this point, my confidence is off the charts. But uh, this guy's got Giannis at the one, Kobe, Melo, Pascal, and Demarcus Cousins. So even though his team might not be as good, he's looking like a tougher matchup. Let's see what we can do. Good defense right there. Get the steal. There we go. Let's get this game started. Uh, Stoudemire, I don't think you got a bucket like that last game. So let's move the ball around for you. Oh, we got Kobe. Kobe spot. Say less. Kobe. Buckets. Let's go. Good close out there by Amari. That's not going down. Somebody get on the boards. Yo, we're getting out rebounded to death. And he finally misses another three. And we still don't get the rebounds. Yo, I never get rebounds in games. It's actually kind of tough. And now he's going to hit that open mid range. Fine. He misses again. And I still don't get the rebound. Hello? Hello? Come here. No, you're not scoring. No chance. No chance. I guess Rose is going to foul. Wow. The fact that he got three straight rebounds like that, it's not a good start. All right. So finally, after like 20 offensive rebounds, that guy scores on me. Derek Rose. Saw some. Oh, limitless range me again. Green bean. All right. So now we are unfortunately down. He's trying to play the inbounds game. That doesn't really work out for people. Let me show you why. To Kobe. Pump fake. Oh, I'm slashing through. Off the dribble. Kobe bean. Kobe bean. All right, so far a pretty back and forth game. We're not really getting any stops and neither is he, but you know what, we'll figure it out. Go to Stouty, pump fake. Oh, let's get in the post here. I don't think Siakam can defend like that. If we can actually get in the post, that would be nice. Got him, now post spin off him. He's too small, there we go. Now pump fake, he's jumping, easy bucket, let's go. All right, and just like that, we have a two point deficit. We gotta start pushing the pace here. Give me a nice little ISO here. Size up this Giannis, this dude reaches a lot, which is kind of tough, but we blow by now to the rim. Drawing the foul though, and we got some free throws. I gotta get some crazy dunks here for Derrick Rose in honor of him, man. But uh, first free throw here is not going to go down. Let me actually focus on my free throw here, guys. Uh, second one is also early, but at least it drops. Wow, I'm trash. Let's get a nice little pick and roll here with Stouty. See if we can get my man nice little alley-oop to start the game for him. Oh, there it is. Throw it up. Catch it. Hey. All right, so he decided to go ahead and foul us while we were dribbling up the court. I'll take these two free throws anyways to warm Paul George up and tie this game up. This guy is playing definitely better than the other guy, so this is definitely going to be tough. Move the ball around here to start the second quarter. I see Stouty. I see Rose. Oh, I'm blown by. Back to Stouty all the way. Oh, you got to go for the dunk oh. next time, but I'll take that and one layup to start the second quarter. All right, convert this free throw and give us a nice little three-point lead. Let's go. I like this mismatch right here. We were both on the Knicks together. Where are you going? Let me go in for my dunk. Ooh, we draw a foul again, and we got more free throws. That man really just ran past me with the ease. Easy free throws here for Stouty. Right now, he's a free throw king, but at least he's getting buckets, which you'll love to see. I'll probably bring my bench in here soon just so we can get them some minutes. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Thank you. I'll take that. Push it to Rose. Rose. Snatch back. Ooh, got him. I'm blown by to the rim. Dunk on him. Oh, no dunk, but he's got that acrobatic layup. Good defense there, DeMarcus, on yourself. You love to see it. Uh, let's go right to Rose. Rose. I'm going all the way to the rim. Please dunk it. Oh, that would have been it. That would have been the end of Giannis. That was the dunk we were all looking for, man. That would have been crazy. All good, though. Nice little cross and snatch back. Oh, where do you think I'm going? I'm going to the rim. Psych. DeMarcus. Easy bucket there. Easy money. Get in the post here. Get in the post. Got him. Now going to an easy post. Hook. Easy bucket. Let's go. Good defense there, Paul George. Get the rebound. And let's get running again. I see my mans. Touchdown pass. Touchdown oop. Hey. Good close out there by Durant. That's not going down. Nice rebound. See, we've got magic at the four. And it works out to Durant. Got him. Keep driving. Uh, Grant Hill. Oh, I thought you'd be open by now. But uh, let's go to magic and slash to the rim here. Uh, spin on him. All the way to the rim. Nice bucket. Let's see, where are we going? Oh, I see Grant open. Pump fake. Right to Ewing. For three. Nope. Oh, that would have been nice. All right, start of the second half here. We've got the bench in with us. Let's see what they can do for us. Oh, Durant's open. That's an easy mid-range right there. Not sure what he was doing there, but I'll take it. Where's my man Roy? Roy's not really getting open like that. Oh, there he is in the corner. Catch and shoot. Easy base. Eight jumper. Yo! This guy's really just a dribble god if you really think about it. Other than that, we are pretty fine. Good defense right there. That's a bad shot. I'm going to take that, and I'm going to run with it. Uh, let's go right to Durant. Durant, right to Roy. Catch and shoot. Easy mid-range. Easy bucket. In the post. You got advantage here. We're not worried about an Anthony Davis. Can everybody get out of the way? Like, why is Grant Hill right there when we're all under the post? It doesn't make any sense. Not exactly the best effort for my bench here. We're down five just like that. Nobody's really pushing the pace like that. Oh, yeah, magic. Put it down and let's go on a run here. I'm done sharing the ball. Get it to whoever can score. Get that rebound, Ewing. Thank you. Someone who's actually rebounding on this team. Uh, go to Durant. Stop. Got him. Now go all the way around. I see Ewing. Swing it. Easy pull for Roy. Easy bucket. Thank you. 
Get in the post right here. Get in the post. Get in the post. Let him send all the double teams. That's fine. Swing the ball. Uh, slash right through. Back to Ewing for the mid-range. I know you can do it for me. Thank you. Keep running that pick and roll. This is the fourth quarter. Now it's time for me to turn up. You can go behind the back all you want, but it's not working. Paul George all the way. Hey! All right, let's keep going here. Uh, nice little behind the back. Keep pushing the pace all the way. I see my boy there. Swing it for three for T-Mac. Green bean. All right, one point game, man. We cannot lose this game. Start pushing the pace and stop playing so slowly, guys. Give me an ISO here. Only person that's going to get buckets right now is Demarcus, man. Snatch back. I'm pulling that three, baby. Oh. Bang. Ho! Oh! And just like that, we are down five points. We got to push the pace here if we want to win this game. Let's go to T-Mac. Uh, step back. I'm pulling from Limitless. Green bean. All right, two-point game, man. Let's push the pace. He's fouling right away. Keep going. Just like that, we're already in the bonus. I will take these two easy free throws right here to tie the game. I'm focused now. No more missing free throws. No losing this game. Uh, second one here. Also going down. Let's go. Get the rebound, somebody! Somebody just get the, get that steal. Oh, my God. If we did not get that ball, I would have lost my mind. Go to DeMarcus. Pump fake. Go to Paul George. Easy mid-range there. Green bean. Nice rebound there. All right, let's push the pace. He's going to be reaching like crazy. So now we are the ones that have the advantage. So uh, cross him up. There we go. All the way to the rim. To Rose. Easy three right there, Rose. Thank you. Let's go. Where are we going? I see Stouty. Catch and shoot for Stouty. Green bean. Good defense right there. No chance. That's going down and that's game over. Let's go, baby. Finally. To Paul George. Baseline. That's a three. Oh, my goodness. Look at that moving three, bro. It's so glitchy. And as you guys can see, we go ahead and we win this game 62 to 53. We managed to clutch it out in a game that should have never been this close, man. I don't know why. It just felt like I'm not getting any rebounds in any game recently. It was really tough. Given that we have no one on our team that has Hall of Fame Hustle Rebounder, so it does kind of make sense. But uh, either way, let's go ahead. Let's check out the box score and let's see how this team did. All right, so as you guys can see, our leading scorers were coming from our starters here. Derrick Rose, who had 11 points, but was not shooting very good at all from the field, man. Every time I would drive to the basket, Giannis was there ready to backboard block me every single time. Rose is just not a good matchup against a tall player like that. Even if you get past them, it's just super unfortunate that it doesn't really work out. Amari Stoudemire, though, he played really good, man. 11 points, 8 rebounds. You love to see that. Paul George had 10 points, 2 rebounds, 2 assists, 3 steals. He was all over the place but unfortunately could not knock down any of his threes today. Uh, T-Mac came in for a little bit and he hit some huge buckets for us, greening both of his three-pointers there. Magic Johnson also played really good there coming off the bench at the four. Uh, Kobe Bryant with five points, two for three, one for two from the field. Good contribution, nothing too crazy. Brandon Roy, two for five. DeMarcus Cousins could have definitely played better. Was not a fan of how much he was fighting for rebounds. Patrick Ewing actually played pretty decent. I just could not figure out that release. I didn't. I forgot about how bad that jump ran animation is so uh yeah i was not a fan and then kevin durant had himself a quiet game as well it was just one of those games where i was missing the game like crazy i went to the team comparison checked it out and we shot like 49 percent this game and then our opponent shot 42 percent but again he was getting a lot of the offensive rebounds so it is what it is uh grant hill zero points but he was dishing the rock at the point guard position and then we did not play steve nash or gordon hayward unfortunately i ended up forgetting about them if that was a player you wanted to see get minutes i am sorry about that but at the same time they're pretty outdated cards like amethyst nash i probably should have gotten the opal and then he would have gotten minutes and then diamond gordon hayward i'm surprised this man doesn't have a pink diamond card already by now especially from the utah jazz but it is what it is all around it was a fun team to play with again some close games that should not be close games but our team is great at closing it out and that's exactly what matters now with that being said guys i hope you guys did enjoy this squad builder if you guys have any other ideas let me know down in the comment section below and i'll be sure to check them out and if you did enjoy the video don't forget to leave a like and for you new viewers you know you got to hit that subscribe button and join the blazing nation i want to thank you guys for watching i hope you all have an awesome day and take care